Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is for the first of our two South African National Championship. And this one is an SA title defense. Three by three minute rounds, Pro-Am rules in the Super Welterweight Division. Introducing to you first, the challenger. He's gonna be fighting out of the blue corner. Standing 1.7 meters tall, weighing in at a trim and ready 68.35 kilograms with a record of five wins, six losses, one win coming by way of a knockout. Introducing the challenger, fighting out of pride, fighting academy. Please welcome Chester Kruger. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Standing 1.83 meters tall, weighing in at 68.35 kilograms, with a pro-am record of three wins and a single loss. The reigning and defending South African champion fighting out of Ty Hollex. Please welcome Shane Deacon.
It looked like an over-the-top hamstring and quadricep stretch towards the end, sealing off the ring. The Y crew, one of the most important things for any fighter to learn, and here we are, stepping it up. The South African National Championship is on the line. Shane Deacon making his first defense of the title that he won against Ryan Cochran of the same gym, Pride Fighting Academy, that is the student of Chester Kruger. Now it's the teacher trying to step up and do what the student failed to do the first time. Deacon's first defense is a tough one against Chester Kruger. Yeah, this is going to be a really interesting fight. Both these guys, it's very cool, calm, collected. You can even see by their wide crew, very, very relaxed, very calm. I think this is going to be a great display of skill. Uh, that's my favorite part is when you see these technical Muay Thai practitioners, these technical Nak Muay come out and, uh, and uh, showcase their skills. Super excited for this one. Ryan Cochran in the first attempt, last TFP, more of a K1 specialist. Chester Kruger is all Muay Thai. Shane, you can see the naturally bigger man, even though both of them scaled in at the exact same weight. Neither had to cut a lot of weight. They both had a pretty easy ride at the scale. Shane, very, very good with his knees. You've got to be so careful of those knees. Long, lanky, very flexible. And he gets good penetration with those knees, which a lot of people don't do. They knee up instead of forward, whereas Shane really gets forward with those knees. So you'll notice, although this is Pro-Am rules, the stockings have disappeared. Still the same amount of fights out of the two, but not the paid ranks just yet. 100%. And I uh, suppose that's the only thing separating pro and this level is a paycheck in another two rounds. 100%. Uh, Chester needs to, he needs to, he shouldn't allow Shane to get that close to him. Um, you know, Shane being very effective with those knees, he needs to keep him at bay. Chester looking a lot better from far but making the mistake of letting Shane get close, penetrating with those long punches. Already seeing a bit of uh... Shane always is close with the length of his body. He utilizes that distance perfectly. He does, you know, use the weapons you have and use them effectively. Shane throwing a beautiful elbow up the middle there. And he's zoning in on that right hand side and left hand side of the rib cage of Chester Kruger. Now Chester better keep that guard tight because those elbows are penetrating. They're getting right through that guard. And what he started with the feet, he ends with the hand. Shane Deacon seemingly in control through the first two minutes of round so number smooth, one. So smooth, so smooth, glides in. Glides in with such rhythm, just beautiful. And you can see he's controlling the hands when he comes in. He's controlling Chester's hands so that he can't throw any punches. Chester Kruger scored a good knee to the ribcage, but didn't halt the advance of Shane Deacon. Maybe he's, maybe he's hoping that Shane uh, gasses himself and wears himself out. Hopefully he plans to come out in round two because first round he's taking a bit of a beating. Well, if that's the game plan, I think he's going to be gravely disappointed because Deacon has got a gas tank on him. Yeah, it's, Deacon's not using a lot of energy. He's very smooth. The rhythm's good. You know, he's being very pinpoint, like a little sniper. He's literally sniper-like with his, with his weapons. And even though he's got those long limbs, he doesn't be far away to land a kick he can do it standing right next to Correct. it very good use of the long guard there by Deacon you know using that range extending that arm out some great Muay Thai skills being shown here really good Muay Thai skills that elbow up the middle again that rib cage oh. is looking red like a target. what a beautiful first round like, that was so nice to watch Shane putting on such a good show of Muay Thai uh, Chester's gonna have to settle himself and come out with uh, I cut a couple of adjustments. The other sideline story to this fight, both of these fighters are instructors at the gyms that they train at. So it's teacher versus teacher, PFA versus Tyholics. Yeah, you find, you know, when you teach, you learn so much more. I find uh, even with my guys, uh, the more they teach, the better they become as fighters. Um, it's, it's just, there's a big difference when you try and explain, you know, to your students what they need to do. You actually absorb more, you understand more. Um, I think that's why you also see such a, such a smoother skill set uh, with better use of their tools and their weapons, control range better, the ring. It's just such a, such a technical, uh, that was like beautiful Muay Thai to watch. Shane really putting on a good display. All right, let's shelve the coach's hat. Let's, let's go, time's up.
so the judges had. Oh, they were Shane's round. <laughs> what are you telling Chester Kruger to do in the second round? Well, you know what? He has to use his teeth better. He's got to teep the legs, teep the body. Don't allow Shane to get inside. At the moment, Shane's best weapon is knees and elbows. Um, and you can't allow him to get into that range. So you think it's an investment in leg attack? Okay. Yeah, he's got to use up the center. Teeps to the legs, teeps to the body. Uh, long straight punches. You okay, know, set up the uppercut. To the center. Careful of the hooks because he managed to start throwing hooks. So he's going to get inside. Okay. He's got a really good Jump. defense. There we go. Long straight punches in the teeps. Stop! Chester Stop. Kruger catches and throws, but two this is one of the things man. about Shane Deacon. Extremely Stop. hard to put on the floor. Great balance and great flexibility. Flexibility plays a big part. The crowd are into this. The first of our two title bouts on this evening's Stop. card. A kick catching Chester Kruger in the throat face area. Good Deep. pressure by Shane. Very good pressure. Switching stances for show. Punches up the middle for the dog. See that high guard that, that Chester's uh, implementing defensively is uh, really not working to his benefit because his body's wide open. Shane Deacon is just loving the look of that ribcage. You know, I think Chester's going to have to lift his knees. Every time Shane comes in, he's going to have to lift the knees. But then I think what Shane's, what Shane's going to do is sweep him. It's a very, very tough fight. Tough decisions to be made here. It's almost as though, you know, you could try and defend against those rib attacks, but the kick somehow comes up underneath the elbow and slices you like a knife. Well, Chester's defense is so high. You know, he's holding those hands really, really high. His body's wide open. He's not making any effort to protect his ribs, which is making it way easier for Shane. Soaking up the punishment here in round number two. Chester Kruger from Pride Fighting Academy, letting it all hang out. If I was Shane, I would actually look at throwing some, uh, some tomahawk elbows, some down elbows from the top. Um, Chester's head's very down. No, up the middle's fine, it's all good, but there's no there's no torque on it, there's no power on it. Very hard to cut. Beautiful jump knee. That's also, it's in the up the middle. Look at Chester's body taking a lot of damage. He's wearing a proper tight tattoo on the side there. Like you said, those tomahawk elbows, easier for Shane to do being the taller man. 100%. And his head's, Chester's head's down. There he goes. I think you heard me. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, done, done, done. coach. <laughs> I'll talk softly. <laughs> No, we're going to have to take it loud because the crowd here are being absolutely frenetic in their support of Shane Deacon and Chester Kruger. Yeah, this is really, really beautiful to watch. It's a clinical display of how to use the right weapons for the right range. Um, you know, Shane really, really putting on a really good show. Very impressed. Break! As a crew, as a, as a coach, Stop. this is what you want to see from your students, putting on technical displays like this. Beautiful knees. And if you, if you watch when he throws that knee, he's not just throwing it randomly. He's looking at where the opening is and he's setting it into that opening, right behind the elbow on the side. The uppercut's there, he needs to look for that uppercut. If you're just tuning in, this is one heck of a fight that we got going on here. Shane Deacon largely in control. He had to defend the South African National Championship. And doing Chester a great Kruger. job. Doing a very, very good job. While we cut to the break between rounds, both fighters, of course, they're not wearing the stockings that Pram usually does. They're wearing ankle guards. Can you explain the significance of those ankle guards? What are the. Well, basically, the, the, the anklets is just it's, it's, it's what you wear in Muay Thai to protect your ankles. You know, you hyperextend those ankles sometimes when you kick the leg, kick the elbow. So a lot of fighters prefer wearing it. Also prevents the, the kicks from slipping off. It gives it like I do every time I try and kick a soccer ball. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when, when your opponent moves back, you, you, you can land with your toes, which half extends your ankle. That just gives you a little bit of support, prevents stupid little injuries like that. Third and final round is coming right up. Kruger has it all to play for. He's down on the scorecards, certainly two to zip. He hasn't visited the floor yet, although he's been on the receiving end of what seems to be quite a punishing display from the champion, proving if that you've got to come and take the belt from him. 100%. He's a very, very tough guy. Chester's, Chester Kruger is a tough dude. He's taken some scary knees, scary kicks, elbows, and he's just absorbed it. He's doing incredibly well. 
but he's going to have to do something incredibly freaky to win this round and win this fight. Kruger's the still there, the tough as nails. Okay, fighters, to the center. Resembles Judges more ready. of a carcass than it does. Okay, yeah. a torso of a live human being. Yeah, he's going to... He, he needs a knockout to win this. Stop. Beautiful body kick there by, by Deacon. The spray that came Oh, out. a little bit of flair there by Chester. Little leg head kick, little... Little scissor kick. Nice elbow. Oh, close elbow by the Chester top. Kruger. Chester's not giving up. He's Dun, still in this fight. He knows his last round. He knows he's behind. Guys, remember two seconds when you catch, eh? Two bounces. Okay. Let's go. Chop. Shane, really, really smooth with those punches. Nice and straight. Beautiful by Chester. Really well done by Chester there. He's you know, got a lot of fights in him. He came out with the fancier moves in the third round a little bit too late though. <laughs> 100%. You know, I think when it's when your back's against the wall, you start taking risks, you start taking chances because you know that's, that's the only way you're going to win. I shudder to think what that ribcage is going to feel like tomorrow, let alone next week or a month later. Uh, he's not going to enjoy the art of breathing much. Breathing's going to be hard. And he might not have a favorite side to sleep on either. <laughs> I think going to the toilet's not going to be much fun either. When it rains, it pours in the world of Muay Thai. Here we are, round oh. number three. A minute, 30 seconds left to go. No, that's what's so beautiful about the art of eight limbs. Right. You've got to defend it's eight different point. weapons. What? Eight different weapons. Two. Chester taking a three. knee there. Four. There's so many things Five. you have to defend against. You've got to cover Six. it. If the guy gets in close, Seven. you've got to watch out for elbows and Eight. knees. If Walk it's from far, teeps, kicks, okay. punches. And if you get right inside, you're going to get clinched and swept. So, beautiful. Yes, he took a knee. Yes, his breathing is hard. Yes, his rib cage is red. But he's still standing there. He's still there. in the fight. He is still in the fight. And he is looking to try and score something Rick. big and recognizable for Stop. the judges to think about. He Time hasn't is given up. Out. He hasn't given up. That's the most important part. As a fighter, you never give up. It takes one punch, one elbow, one knee. doesn't make a difference. It just takes one. And as a coach, that's all you can ever ask for. Again, the problem area, not hard to find. Shane really starting to have fun now. Twang, playing around. And Ooh, a lean beautiful. streak to him. He just keeps hitting that spot. Stop! Stop! Really, really nice. Beautiful Muay Thai. If you don't know, if you've never watched Muay Thai, or if this is your first time watching Muay Thai or Thai Holics Fight Promotions, this is such a beautiful display of Muay Thai. Clean, crisp, technical. Love watching Shane. This is true Muay Thai at its best. There we really, have it. Really, really well done. Three rounds in the can. And one would think a successful first defense of the South African National Championship from Shane Deacon.
We will be back in 30 minutes. Go and reload your drinks. You can get some refreshments outside. Please observe the COVID protocols we have in place here in a public area. Masks up as you're moving around the auditorium, as well as the casino area. We'll see you in 30 minutes with Hoss up against Boita. Shadows in 